Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with some Power League gameplay. It's been a while since we've done Power League and I am super hyped for the new season that came out a couple hours ago because they have fixed the matchmaking. I no longer have to wait two hours for a game. I can actually play the game and have some fun. Currently, we're ranked in Legendary 1, which is about as high as I can be right now. I woke up, I've won basically every game since I've, you know, woken up, but EU, you know, they have a little bit of an advantage on us today, but we're slowly catching up 50, 52 on the leaderboard right now. So, let's hop into some games, let's see what we get. Hopefully, we don't get hard countered by absolute pros while we have randoms on our team. Let's just get into it and see what happens. Alright, so starting off our first game, it's going to be myself, Cute Sands, and Tyrant, who you guys saw top 10 on the leaderboard. Versus Patchy, who is third on the leaderboard, CR7, and I don't know who this hunter guy is. So, right off the bat, this game is looking pretty good. But actually, we're going to be playing on West servers. Uh, because we are playing with three people from the West server. So, I'm definitely going to have some delay, which is going to be kind of toxic. Um, so, I'm just going to go ahead and go Barley. Obviously, you know, the draft is pretty important. So, we're going to be talking over the whole draft. Cute Sands don't really know what he's going to go. Rico's a pretty good pick. We're obviously trying to be good against tanks. Tyrant banned Bull. That was a really good ban. They banned Buzz. Let's see what CR7 goes ahead and takes. He's probably going to take a tank. I would expect one of them at least to go Primo. If not, they're probably going to have like an M's or something good in mid range. A Carl, not a terrible pick. And let's see what Patchy goes. Primo. Okay, so there we go. So... They have a pretty good comp all around. I do pretty well into the spike, so hopefully I can be on the spike lane. But our comp, I think, is pretty good into theirs. Let's see what Tyrant goes. Daryl's a pretty good pick. We do definitely have the better comp, in my opinion. This one should be kind of an easy win. But we will have delay, so it's going to be a little bit difficult. Let's hop into the game right now, and let's see what happens. So going into it, I'm going to try and go on that right side, because that's where the spike is. Good thing I spawned on the right, so this is my lane just in general. Tyrant on the Mega Box Daryl skin, absolute alpha skin. Okay, so I'm not going to have the spike on my lane. I have a little bit of delay, but as a Barley, I can't really feel it too much. I'm just going to go onto the save straight away. Sans is going to be able to pick up a kill. Looks like Tyrant's going to be able to also get on save. So we're going to have a lot of damage being done right here. Apache's going to chain supers probably. I'm going to put this down over here. Going to slow down Apache. He's not going to be able to reach us. I'm going to try and do damage to the safe and Patchy at the same time. Oh, uh, there we go. We're able to get the kill. So a really good start by our team right here. Sans is doing a really great job on defense as well. Good roll over there by Tyrant. Don't know where the spike is, which is obviously pretty dangerous. Patchy gets his jump. Tyrant's going to kill him. And now we're just going to try and get as much DPS as possible on this safe. Going to slow down Madison over here so at least Tyrant and Sans can take him out. Patchy doesn't seem very happy. He's going to be shooting the spike in his spawn. But this game is looking like a W. I'm not going to lie. 8%, 7%, 5 2%. I'm just going to end it real quick. Spin on my homies. And that is going to be a first game win. So it's looking pretty good. I definitely think we have the better comp. And not going to lie, the better players. So let's hop into the second game. And let's see if we can repeat what happened. So getting into it here. Always got to shoot your safe to start off. It's just mandatory. You have to do it. Hopefully I get the spike on my lane this game. Okay, I got Patchy. Patchy's just going to walk. Ooh. CR is basically going to kill himself with that one. Patchy's just trying to soak up enough damage to get his jump. Sans should be able to get that kill. He is going to be able to do so. And again, I'm just going to stand on the safe and do some damage. Apache, I believe, is really close to his jump. So I should be afraid of that and very aware that he's going to get it. I'm going to put my super down. CR is probably going to be on the top. He is. Apache's so close to his super that I don't want to use my gadget just because if I put it down... It's just going to be a waste of a gadget. He's going to jump on me anyways. I'm going to save it for a better situation. Tyrant doing a really good job in the mid. Trying to make a play. He's not going to be able to. Oh, I didn't know that was in there. Should be able to get the spike. I am able to do so. CR is going to move up, but I'm just going to try and get on their save. Oh, Patchy, why? Why can't you just let me on your save? Okay, well, I mean, I got a super off at least, and I charged a little bit of my super, so it's not the worst case, but... Definitely did want to do more. Spike is over here. Again, I'm trying to stay laned up with that spike. We're going to be able to pinch CR7 there and get the kill. Going to move up this right side. No one's really watching me, so I'm going to be able to do a good amount of damage, I think. 
Oh, CR is super. I'm gonna get pinched here. This is not very nice. Put this down. I'm gonna super the save. Charge a little bit of my super. Tyrant's doing a really good job. We got two on the safe, and that is probably gonna be game. Maybe not, actually. It looks like Sans isn't doing any damage, so I guess I have to walk up. I thought he would be able to end it. Gets it to 4%. Apache's gonna come near me, but I'm just gonna super the safe. And that is going to be it for the first game. So pretty good first game. Definitely some really good opponents. Let's hop into the next game and let's see what we get. Alright, so getting into our next game here. Looks like we got Sans and Jay La Jay Lau. I don't know. I don't really know his name on our team. We're going up against Cash XR, Sly Frixie, and IX Chepo. So all three of these players on the other team. Definitely good players, players that I know and I've played against tons of times, you know, lost to all three of them in tournaments before. Um, so definitely this one's going to be a tough one. Uh, we're going to go ahead with the Shelly ban. Good, you know, solid ban by Sans. Um, Canal Grande is going to be the map. So I definitely want to play Brock, I think. Good thing that we have kind of a middle pick and we get to see what they play because we can kind of go for the counter. Um, I'm going to suggest Tick for my teammate. Where is Tick? I don't even know where Tick is. No, don't go Gene, please. All right, I guess he's going to go Gene. Hopefully, he's a good Gene. Um, Cash XR. Oh, Tick is banned. Okay, that makes sense for why I can't find Tick. Um, let's see what Cash goes. Not really sure what his like favorite brawlers are, what he likes to play. Um, so, I guess we're going to find out. He's going to go with the dog. And they're going to go with Primo as well. Oh, my God. I don't know what to go. I think I'm just going to go Brock. I've been going Brock a lot on this map, and it's been pretty good. So hopefully we can continue that. Obviously, we're going to go four Rockets because it's Bounty, and I just want more shots. Um, Sands, I don't know what Sands is going to go. Sands is a very wild card player. Tara. That's not a terrible pick. The issue is, I think Chepo can just go Sprout and clap us. So hopefully he doesn't go that Brawler. If he does, I'm just going to have to open up as much walls. Or as many walls, sorry, as I can with Brock. Oh! Okay, then, IX Chapo. So we're just going to continue. Two out of six. Let's get into the next game and let's keep going. All right, so going into our next game, we're going to be teamed with Ezek, who I've played with about seven times already today and loves to put a thumb down every single time I pick Dynamite. We got YouTube Shine Slays as our team leader over here. Gonna be going up against Swishes, who's a pretty good player, Cute Sands, and Marvel. So I think we have a slight team advantage here. Uh, but we'll see. We're playing on parallel plays, which is a lot of different metas. So the draft is gonna be really important here. Marvel has the first pick. Let's see what's, what he goes with. You know, we're just gonna patiently wait. He wants to take all of the 20 seconds that he can, you know, to use maximum brain capacity to figure out what to play. He's gonna go Colette. Pretty interesting pick. Now let's see what Isaac goes. No, please don't Dinah. It's, is he going to pick Dinah? Because I always go Dinah. Don't go Dinah. I want to win this game. All right, he's going to go Sprout. Sprout's a pretty good pick. I was going to go Barley. So I think now what I'm going to do is go Jesse mid. Jesse's a pretty good, you know, mid here because it's really good into Ruffs, who sometimes is a defense. And if that is a defense, you can go attack. If you don't like the mid you're going up against, you can play defense. And the turret is really good for positions. So, I mean, it's just a really good brawler here in general. I would definitely recommend playing Jesse here if you have the gadgets and star power, you know, necessary to do so. Swish is also taking his sweet time on the pick. He's going to be going with Amber. So, they have a pretty, you know, high DPS beefy comp. If we can get them in their spawn and get them down one time, I think we will be, you know, totally fine to win the game. And Sans with the last pick is going to go Brock. Pretty interesting pick. Now, I really hope Shine Slays doesn't go Gene. He is going to go Gene. So, comp-wise, I think they have a slightly better comp. The Brock pick is kind of wild, but I do see the strategy of breaking the walls, which is going to be really bad for me and our Sprout. But let's see what happens at top in the game and see where we go. So, just looking at it right now, it looks like they don't really have really stable offense. So, I think I'm going to go on attack and see if I can just take the zone really fast. Which would obviously give us a really big, you know, advantage in the game. Able to get two good taps over there already on the Colette. Colette's going to hit us twice, though. Colette's now one shot. Shine slays. There we go. Good kill over there by Shine. I knew Sans was cooking up that rocket because it would have one-shot me. So I had to kind of debate that out. Unfortunately, our defense went really aggro. I don't really know why. Oh, I thought I went around the wall. No. All right, if I went around that wall, I would have had so much position there. I messed that up, but it's fine. I think we're honestly in a pretty good spot here. 
to get a couple shots there. Shine Slays is going to finish off that kill. The Amber set up all the oil that it needs to kind of, you know, just clap us. It's going to, you know, actually use its oil. Not get any value out of it. We got Sans to one shot over here. So Sans is going to go down. We're just going to place this turret over here. And now this is our zone. There's nothing that they are going to do about it. This is ours. We're going to be able to get the kill over there. Sans is going to be coming from that side. So I'm just going to hide over here. I'm going to try and get me with that shot. Not going to be able to do so. I'm going to walk up and try and get the auto aim on Sans. We're going to be able to get that kill pretty easily. I'm going to wait for the Amber. I'm going to stun it. No, we're going to go down. But luckily, our Sprout's going to come up and get the kill. So really good offensive pressure so far. Both of our teammates is now up. Sans is going to go down. And their Colette's going to go down. So that's probably game over there. A little bit of a missed Sprout wall. But I think they gave up either way. I guess not, actually. Sans is still going to try and win the game. Don't know how much he could do. Going to just stun him. Because why not? We're going to spin on Sans. Shine slays with a little bit of a spin. And that is going to be game one. So going offense was definitely the strat. I was planning on going middle and having Gene or Sprout go offense. But just because they're so, you know, mid-range and beefy, but not really able to kill me from range, I think it's a pretty good decision to go offense. They're probably going to switch it up. Yeah, the Amber is going to be back here now instead of the Colette and Sans. We're going to get two really early shots. I'm going to try and go aggro here on Sans. We're going to be able to get into the zone already. Can't stand too close to the wall because obviously he has his gadget. Going to try and get this Colette killed. Shine Slays is going to do so. Sans is kind of trapped over here. He's just going to break the wall with his gadget. That's exactly what we were trying to avoid. We're going to be able to pick up the kill there. I'm just going to drop my turret right on the Colette. Colette's going to go down to the turret. And we have really good position in the offensive zone, which is definitely the hard zone. Really early on in the game. So this game as well, just like the last one, is looking really good. Amber's going to waste its flame. Colette's going to waste its super. I think I auto-aimed one too many times. Go turret! Turret almost got the kill, but we have a really huge lead. And majority of our lead is actually in the offensive zone, not even in the easy zone. So this game is basically a guaranteed win at this point. Dan's going to use his super. He's going to get a couple shots. He's low. Shine not able to finish him. We're going to be able to get that kill over there on Sands. And we're now going to move up. Again, we have a very large amount of this offensive zone over here. So we're in a really good spot to win this game. Oh, a couple whiffs over there. I'm going to go down. That's pretty bad on my part. Uh, but again, the game's looking really good. We probably have 90% or even less to claim. Or uh, in total after we finish our zone. Gonna throw this in the middle, get some stuns. Gonna be able to get one kill off of that. And now we just have to move up. We only need to get 6% in this zone, but honestly, this game is looking like a pretty big W. So we're gonna get into the zone over here. We're gonna try and go for the kill. We're gonna get it, and that is going to be it for our second game. So we're going to do one more game of Power League. So let's queue up, let's get into matchmaking. And let's see what happens. All right, so we basically got an insta queue here. So here we go into the next game. I got Sly Frizzy, Frixy, I mean, and Ezek again on my team. I don't know why I play with this guy every single time. And then we're facing Lime Z on his one of his like eight minis and Tribe Tyrant. Now I know Tyrant's pretty high in rank. We're one and zero against him today, so start off pretty well. Gonna try and go two and zero against one of the best players, if not the best player in North America. Um, so. Let's see what we get. We're going to be playing double swoosh. Ezek is going to go with Amber first, which I agree with that pick. It's a really good pick. He's leaving the Gene to me. Um, there is a chance, though, that Lime or Z take Gene. Surprised that Z didn't because he, you know, usually thinks about this stuff. But he's going to stick with the Taro, which is a really good pick. And if Lime doesn't go Gene, that's going to be my obvious pick because it's definitely the best mid here. Let's see what he goes with. Taking his sweet time. He's going to go with the M's. So I am 1 billion percent going to go with the Gene. Don't know what Frixie's he's going to go. Hopefully he goes a tank counter because I believe Tyrant... Actually, Tyrant has to play mid. Tyrant's probably going to go Sprout or Mr. P if I had to take a guess. Mr. P obviously to count, counter the Gene. But I don't really know. Tyrant's kind of put in a bad spot here by his two previous drafts. Let's see what Frixie goes. He's going to go with Bell. So we, I like our comp. I definitely like our comp a lot. Um, hopefully we can get the Amber on... The Tara though, because the Tara does have a little bit of a counter for our uh, Bell. Tara's gonna go with the Max. Actually, a really good pick to complement the M's and the Tara. Pretty even game. I would give us the slight edge on comp, and I think players-wise, it's about equal. So let's hop into the game and let's see what happens. 
So here we go, hopping into it. I'm gonna try and go aggro for the first couple gems because I don't think there's a shot that Tyrant can kill me if I just walk into the mid with Max. So I'm just gonna walk out here. Gonna go aggro, get the first couple. Tyrant actually barely hit me, so that's a really good start for us. We're gonna get this gem spawn as it's fixed and now it goes side to side. So really good start for us. We charged our super up pretty well, actually. Gonna try and help out Frixie over here, but it looks like the M's that he's facing is doing a lot of work to him. Gonna just help him out. Oh no. Okay, there we go. We're able to get the kill. I'm gonna try and stay alive. I'm not able to do so. There is a trap there though, so hopefully... Oh, never mind. I guess we just lost all the gems. Tyrant, from playing him in comp, I know he does like to use his gadget a lot to avoid pulls. So pulls on Tyrant aren't really something I can go for here. He's in our bush here. Good shot by Frixie. Really good kill by Frixie, actually. Hopefully we can get Zeo. We're able to get Zeo. Oh, we're not. We killed a Tara pet. Never mind. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Is there someone in here? Oh, there is. Okay, we're able to get the kill, but honestly, this game's kind of chalk. I don't know if I should have helped the lane. I think helping the lane was pretty good, but the issue is that both of us kind of went down to help when that wasn't really necessary so i guess you know same start we did have a really good start of the game just didn't really end it or you know have the mid ground really well so again let's stay aggro let's get those first three-ish gems and let's see what happens here i'm gonna walk up tyrant knows exactly what i want to do can't really get that one I'm gonna just try and help our lane over here Up 2-1 in gems, so a decent start. Our Amber is doing pretty good. Gonna try and help Frixie. He's gonna be able to win his lane over there. Amber's doing a pretty good job. I'm gonna have to like kind of go into hiding here. Let's see. So again, decent start. We're just charging our super here. Gonna be able to get a shot off there. Don't think Z is close to Oh, he is close. Oh my god. Well, the gems are in the middle, but I think Tyrant kind of messed up over there. There's no way you should be able to pick up the gems. Really? Wow. We are screwed here. We're going to try and go for the manual aim shot. We're going to be able to get it. This game is not looking very good for us. Tyrant's going to run away because he knows I have pull. Obviously, a smart play there by Tyrant. We're just going to go for the pull on Lime. Please shoot him. Okay, there we go. We're able to get that. Z is one shot. Frixie should be able to get that kill. He's going to be able to. So they have nine gems now. Really good gem spawn for them. We're going to go for a blind pull. Not going to be able to hit it. He's probably just going to walk up and solo pull, which he should do. Oh, no. This is not going very well here. Lane down. He has really aggro position. It looks like we are going to lose. Oh, baby! Uh, shoot him! Please! Oh, no! If he wasn't AFK, we would have had it. Oh, my God. If he wasn't AFK, we had the game right there. We almost stole the game, but that is going to be it. We're going to take the L and... Oh, my God. The blurry camera. But as everything always goes, if you lose... You put it in the video. So GG's to those players that we played. Obviously incredible players. That is going to be it for our YouTube video today. I hope you guys enjoy the Power League gameplay as much as I enjoy recording. It's definitely one of the most fun things for me to record. We're on the path to number one. We're pretty far away. I'm pretty sure Tyrant's somewhere up there. Yeah, Tyrant's number five. We're pretty, you know, we're kind of close. But we got some ground to, you know, gain. So we're going to do what we can. But that's going to be it for the video. Like, subscribe, comment. You guys already know. But that's going to be it. I will see you guys again tomorrow. See you then. Peace.